Hi guys, welcome to my channel Cocktail Furious. So today's video is all about Indian playing 11 vs Sri Lanka. Almost my probable Indian playing 11 vs Sri Lanka in tomorrow's T20 match is going to happen in Mumbai, Vankade Stadium. So when it's come to Vankade Stadium, whomsoever win the toss, obviously they will elect to bowl because which is very true and the conditions also favor batsmen and it is very easy to hit sixes in this ground because it is almost a small ground. So my probable love, let's start now. So number one, Ishan Kishan. Obviously Ishan Kishan is in a very good form and uh, after the double century, obviously his uh, conference level will be uh, at some level. So obviously I will go with Ishan Kishan as an opener. Second, definitely I will go with Rituraj Gaikwad because uh, Rituraj Gaikwad is in terrific form in domestic cricket and uh, you know when it comes to Indian pitches obviously he plays really well and uh, Ishan Kishan and Rituraj Gaikwad both are good combinations so we are looking for youngsters in the upcoming 2024 World Cup so obviously these two will match up very well that is what is my instinct so I will go with Rituraj and Ishan Kishan as an openers. Number three. Obviously, we will go with Surya Kumar Yadav. See, if Virat Kohli is available, obviously Virat will come in number 3. If Virat is not available, definitely Surya Kumar Yadav at number 3. Because he is an attacking batsman, we have to use his ability as much as possible. So, if he is going to play more overs, he is going to get more runs. So, obviously, Sky will be number 3. Number 4, I will go with Sanju Samson. You all know how talented he is and he is also in a very good form. So, we should not waste Sanju Samson's form as well as his caliber you know the way he hit the ball and the way he is playing currently so obviously Sanju Samson should be given a lot of chances and he is the number four batsman for me number five I will obviously go with Deepak Huda because in T20s you have to have players who can bat as well as both so Deepak Kuda will be very handy in these Indian pitches so number five will be my spinning all-rounder Deepak Kuda. Number 6 is obviously our captain Hardik Pandya, the new T20 captain of India. So definitely Hardik will look to show his class as a player as well as as a captain. So number 6 suits perfectly for Hardik Pandya to launch into the game and uh, that is his best spot. Number 7 I will go with Washington Sundar, another spinning all-rounder. See we need a lot of spinning all-rounders in Indian conditions. We are going to play 2023 World Cup, that is a 50 overs game, this is a T20 game. But still we need a lot of spinning all-rounders like how we used to have before. Like Suresh Raina, Yuvraj Singh, Virender Sehwag, all can chip in 2-3 overs. So Washington Sundar will be uh, playing a vital role in T20s, you know, he's, he's has, he has that uh, ability to bowl in the power play also. So my number 7 is Washington Sundar. Number 8, definitely we go for Aksar Patel. So one off spinner and another left arm spinner. So definitely we need Aksar Patel. He is becoming a very good all-rounder nowadays. He had a good uh, tour of Bangladesh. He bowled well as well as he batted well, got 150 in the one-day game. So obviously he is in very good form. So Aksar Patel also will be very useful for India at number 8. Number 9, I will be going to Harshal Patel. Why I am going for Ashar Patel means we, you have to understand one thing. He has lots of experience playing in IPL, especially in these type of grounds. So he has the ability to bowl the slower deliveries. So definitely he will be very useful in Indian conditions and he has to show his experience. So definitely I will prefer Ashar Patel for number 9. And number 10 will be obviously Harshadeep Singh and he is in a very good form. He played really well in this uh, last T20 World Cup. So Harshadeep Singh is key bowler for India in this T20 series because he bowls well in new ball as well as he bowls well in the death. So Ashradeep Singh is the major factor for Team India, number 10. And the final player, the number 11 will be obviously Umran Malik. I will definitely prefer Umran Malik for the pace. You need some kind of a pace bowler who bowls 150 kilometers. Definitely we need to play him boss. Because he might go for runs but he might take 2-3 wickets. That is what is most important uh, uh, you know, for a team. So definitely I prefer Umran Malik at number 11. So I think you people can understand in what way I have taken this probable 11. And in my point of view definitely you know this is the best 11 out of this 15. So after that we can give chances for some other players. But initially we have to go with the best team. So that these, these players itself require chances. Okay. So obviously they need a long run. So this is the best 11 according to me. So if you are going to prefer some other 11 definitely you people can comment in comment section. Please provide your views. Definitely, I will reply all to your comments. Okay, guys, I think I am expecting a very tight match tomorrow. Sri Lanka is a very good opponent and India are almost playing in fresh team tomorrow. So, it's going to be a good match and that, that is what I am expecting. So, let's see how it's going to pan out tomorrow. So, that's it, guys. See you in tomorrow's video. Until then, 